This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com In Holoshev, the Shach wrote some of the all-time great classic commentaries of Lamdas that are studied in the Yeshiva, aside from the Shach HaNiradeya. The Shach wrote this Sefer, Takvay Koyen. Takvay Koyen is one of the classic Lamdasha works that were ever written about the laws of possession. In Sefer Takvay Koyen, by the way, the Shach was Nifter before he reached 42 years old. Among other things, you know, the Magin Avram refers to a perush the Shach has an Archaim. So we have what the Shach wrote on Yeridea, we have what he wrote on Chosha Mishpat, we don't have an Archaim, but he wrote an Archaim as well. There's a fundamental difference between what the Shach wrote on Yeridea and what he wrote on Chosha Mishpat. On Yeridea, he wrote it as a commentary on the words of the Mechaber and the Ramah. So aside from his own Chidushim, he's being Mevair, the words of the, the Mechaber and the Ramah. However, later on in life, when he wrote on Chosh Mishbad, he did not explain the words of the Mechaber Ramah for a very simple reason. He felt that the, the commentary of the Sma already accomplished a commentary on the Mechaber Ramah, and now all that was needed was for his own Chidushim. But he wrote this Sefer Tak Foykoyin, and in it, he brings various laws of Psak about various Rishonim. For example, if Rabinu Yerucham quotes Toysvis, he doesn't necessarily refer to our Toysvis, he's referring to Toysvis Harash. Klolem like that. There's another important rule that the Ramah says, this is a very important rule. Remember the Shach married a descendant of the Ramah. What's the Halacha? If Achroinim argue on Rishonim, who do you follow? If Achroinim argue on Rishonim, you follow the Achroinim, they were later, they were the Basroi. But there is an exception to that. That's only if the Achroinim saw the Rishonim. But if you could find a Rishon that the Achroin didn't know about, we're not going to say we follow the Achroin because he's later, because we could say if he would have seen this Rishon, he never would have passed in the way he did. So the question now is, we'll always pass in like the Shach, but we need to know what books the Shach had access to. Because if he didn't have access to certain books, we're not going to pass in like him. So there's a long discussion. Which Rishonim did the Shach see? Which Rishonim did the Shach not see? So for example, Chsam Soif in Yeridea Simon Reishnun brings that the Shach did not see the Igeres Hatashbeitz. And therefore we wouldn't necessarily follow the rulings of the Shach under these circumstances. So there's a very lengthy introduction here about the Klolem that the Shach says. What's the difference between what we call Iboi Deloi Efshita and Ateku? There's something in the Gemara, the Gemara has a question, and the Gemara doesn't come out with a definitive answer. And sometimes the Gemara will say, Teku. So these are issues that the, the Shach wrote about. Takfay Kohen, the Shach wrote, B'choy Dashachar, in one month. This great work, one of the great classics of all time, that it could take a lifetime to write, the Shach wrote in 30 days. Zuchusa Yagin Aleinu, Amen. You've just experienced another Torah class, brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.